How Whales Are Cooling the World The presence of whales, whose bodies are like huge carbon stores, greatly affects the ecosystem in the oceans. Whales also play a key role in the fight against climate change. The world's largest animals are extremely skilled at absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Whales, especially bar whales or sperm whales, are among the largest creatures in the world. Their bodies are like huge carbon stores, so their presence in the oceans is crucial to the ecosystem. Whales determine not only the depths of the oceans, but also the temperature of our planet. This fact was emphasized once again in a scientific article published in 2010. By destroying forests, converting trees to timber and destroying grassland, humans reduce the carbon level in the terrestrial ecosystem. The carbon cycle in the open seas and oceans is completely independent of human influence. However, the impact of whaling on ecosystems is consistently overlooked. Humans have hunted whales for centuries. Humans have hunted the whales, for their fat, bones, and meat. It is estimated that the first commercial whaling in history was made 3,000 years ago. Since then, tens of millions of whales have been hunted. As the human population increased, the whale population was badly affected. Experts estimate that the whale population has declined by 66 to 90 percent. When whales die, they sink to the ocean floor. The enormous amount of carbon stored in the whale's bodies mixes with the surface waters into the deep sea, where it persists for centuries. Studies conducted in 2010 revealed that before industrial whaling, whales held close to 2 million tons of carbon on the ocean floor. This amount of carbon absorption is a rate that can be achieved by banning 410,000 cars from traffic each year. But due to whaling, this is no longer possible, and when whales are killed, the carbon released is released into the atmosphere as it is. Marine scientist Andrew Pershing from the University of Maine, one of the names who conducted the research, says that as a result of whaling in the 20th century, 70 million tons of carbon dioxide was released into the atmosphere. According to scientists, this is a huge rate. Only 15 million cars emit this much carbon per year. Considering that there are 236 million cars in the United States alone, the amount of carbon released into the atmosphere is much better understood. Also, when whales die, they not only benefit the ecosystem. According to studies, whale excrement also plays an important role in preventing climate change. Whales feed in the depths of the ocean and return to the surface to excrete their excrement. Extremely rich in iron, whale excrement provides the perfect environment for photoplankton growth. Photoplankton may be microscopic in size, but taken as a whole it has a tremendous impact on the planet's atmosphere. It is thought that they can absorb 40% of the carbon dioxide produced on Earth. That's more than four times what the Amazon forests absorb. A report by the International Monetary Fund IMF, published in 2019, discussed the benefits of increasing whale populations in the oceans. According to research, the amount of carbon dioxide a whale absorbs makes it invaluable to our planet. It is estimated that an average whale contributes $2 million to the preservation of our planet and climate balance. The economists behind this study go from theory to practice and suggest that major global carbon emitters spend a portion of their income on protecting the whale population. It's a complex plan, but not impossible. Because the same team is working on a similar project based on the carbon market against elephant hunting in African forests. A system is also being developed in Chile that detects whales acoustically and creates alternative routes for ships with an early warning system. IMF research argues that protecting whales should be one of the top priorities in tackling climate change. Because whales are in a unique position to fight climate change, they need to be protected in the 190 countries that signed the Paris Agreement in 2015, the scientists who conducted the study comment.